guys, it's me, X Magic G Sex here, and welcome back to more of Let's Play Earthbound. Last time we got the jet all the way down here and have been reunited with his father, Dr. Adonaz, got them denying they don't nothing. Well anyway, he's well now we can well he's offering up the Skyrunner, so now we can actually go and save Captain Polo. And you know what? Dr. Randonauts, you were so lucky that I had tons of donuts over the week. Yeah, it was a pretty long week too, a lot of things going on, like parents and things, family stuff. Why did I bring it up? This is what bound, a great game! Anyways, I wanted to show what Maxwell says here because it's kind of funny. Uh, no, you know what? You just wanted to hear my voice? Whoa! Wait, that's not his voice. <laughs> Sorry, it's been like two weeks since I've seen him, but let's actually save the game. You become such a hard... I forgot what voice for you gave him. Uh, you become a hard worker. I got to get back to work myself. Go for it, bad boy. Bad boy. <laughs> I thought it was funny because he's like insinuating that Nia is, uh, Jeff is gay. Along with Tony and Taylor, E equals MC squared. Okay. But anyways, let's go ahead inside the Skyrunner. By the way, it was called the Skywalker in the Japanese version. Of course, his name was changed to avoid copyright stuff. And before I leave what Dr. Ross also want to have to say, I'll just mention the music, just listen. Have you noticed it? It is actually We Will Not Be Fooled Again by the Who. Very nice, but I do what Dr. Anon says. What a problem if not fully. Hey, why don't you try pressing the button on the controller? Yeah, thanks for bringing the fourth wall. I'll just bat the button and we'll take off. Just hit A and there we go. And here it seems like we're passing over a city. Possibly a city we'll come across in the future. Looks pretty big and apparently is by a sea. Ooh! There was a present there! Let's remember that and apparently we're over a desert now. And Monkey was another present at the Oasis. Nice. Tons of skeletons, though. And here we are at three. Searching around for Jeff and everyone. And that was just bad timing, uh, just as it goes beeping. There, now you can hear it clear. Because I actually stopped talking. I was giving a big pause, trying to wait for it that to be, but sure enough. And we're closing in. Slowing down. That must be where they are! Whoa! Uh... Pretty bad driving, Jeff. <laughs> I love it. He was all black for a second there. Oh, man. 
did, did that ever scare me? The Skyrunner, I'm guessing, took a little damage while landing. Oh well. You don't have to explain a thing. I'm Jeff. I, I came because you called me. I'm not very strong, very nearsighted, kind of shy, and tend to be, uh, uh, reckless. This is just the way I am. Uh, I hope you want me to be your friend, uh, okay? No, <laughs> I'm just too good. Let's, we want you to join. Alright, let's get back to your journey again. Do 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 No way, that's not the right thing I'm trying to do mother join the party thing, but ended up doing Metroid instead. Jeff joined you. Well, Jeff, let's go ahead and check you out. You are actually still pretty weak, weaker than Paula, and like I said, no PSI. Well, Jeff, you're just stuck with us right now because the door is still locked and... Oh, we have a teddy bear. It's been like three weeks since I played as Ness, so I forgot about the teddy bear. So that's good. And I'll keep it. Actually, let's see how many teddy bears we got. One... Just one teddy bear, okay. Well, the door is still locked. Well, we know what we can do is lock stuff now. We need to use the... Um, if I can find it... That key machine. That is the last time we would ever use the bad key machine. Now I climb all the way back out. And we're back at three, and there's some new enemies here. Well, not new, it's just enemies I never fought, so... Take them on. There's the zombie possessor and the urban zombie itself. These enemies are actually pretty difficult. I mean, not insanely difficult, but pretty difficult. I mean, the urban zombie is can be annoying with his high attack, and the zombie possessor can give you a new status ailment called Possess, which actually where a ghost flies around you and causes damage to you every time you go to battle and you need to purify yourself. So let's do a rockin', I guess. Oh, you can do a PSI. Oh, can't do a single row. Well then, Zombie Possessor and Jeff do the Urban Zombie. Thank you for the teddy bear. I actually just recently learned that the teddy bear takes on PSI magnet like all the time, so that's very good. Yeah, see, PSI working as you said. They even take it out, so. And really, you called for help? This is pretty annoying battle. Okay, you know what? Yes, you use the PSI rocket again. Paula, you bash the zombie possessor. Jeff, you shoot the zombie possessor. Shooting and bashing you ghosts. That doesn't make any sense. I also learned that the teddy bear only has about 100 HP. And you dodge quickly. Ah, oh, the teddy bear died. That sucks. That really does suck. It was a hamburger, and that took it. Apollo is level 16. Now it doesn't suck so much. Vitality, very good. And SMG went up by 10, and Jeff's level is 11. IQ went up, and that's important. And HP, that's also quite important. That was a pretty annoying battle, but I, nothing that I couldn't handle. Um, there's actually quite a few new enemies that I just never bothered covering, but I guess I'll take them on if I come across them. By the way, first things first, Jeff has a ton of items that we do not that he does not need anymore, such as that that key machine we're not use anymore, 
And the pop gun we would not use anymore, actually we'll just sell the pop gun. Okay. Next day's fresh, we don't need that either, and Jeff sell the pop gun. Nope. And we're just gonna call the Escargo Express. Don't ask me how they get through the tunnel you want to pick up. Again, I don't know how they managed to get through the tunnel. Let's just walk in place a little bit. Going back and forth, back and forth. Come on. There we go. Delivery charms, yes. What do you want me to do? I can take up to three things when we... Well, I'm not going to need a pencil eraser for quite a while, but I'm just going to hang on to that. Gonna need the receiver phone. We don't need the backstage pass. We don't need the high of buttle gum anymore. Anything else? Uh, yes, and what else? We also want you to take the bad key machine. That is correct. Alright, well, 11 minutes in already? Really? Wow. Now, anyways, if you go down here, you notice that a tent has appeared. And those zombie dogs, you're gonna find them in a tunnel a little bit later, along with the urban zombie. Stay away from the dogs. They are nasty right now. And the dog just howls. Doesn't have a mind to read. Oh well. Now you'll notice that after Ness got kidnapped, we actually find that there's a tent down here. Well, here's the thing. If you approach the tent, you'll find that is an enemy! <laughs> this is the boogie tent, and just take a look. I love this scenario, how the background is, the tent itself. That was pretty creative, but you yeah, also have to find that it's your trap inside the tent, so obviously you can't run away. Basically, um, it's a pretty this, um, strong enemy. Um, it can inflict quite a few status conditions, well, not only, only can immobilize you for one, and it also can do quite a few other statuing things, but as you notice, Paula and Jeff are probably still going to be weak, so you're just probably want to have Nessie use PSI rocking. Yeah, Paula use PSI fire, which is the only thing that they tend to actually weak to, and Jeff go ahead and shoot it. Sixty damage. That is not good. And Jeff is only doing one damage. Shoot. Well, first of all, let's go ahead and I guess use the skip sandwich. I mean, why not use something or other? PSI fire and Jeff. Good. Um. Jeff, you know what? Use a bread roll on yourself. As a Jeff can do the healing, Boogie Ten can also use the defense prey. That was a whole lot. It was it. Okay, skip sandwich. No two self is completely useless. Uh, let's actually try bashing. Hold on, keep on using that PSI fire and Jeff shoot it again. Even though that you can only do one damage. And stop increasing your defense, that's annoying. Okay, Ness, Bash. By the way, this Wicked Tent has about 600 HP. If you want to know. Then again, why am I doing that? Because 
I'm explaining his stats when I'm gonna put his stats in the description. Oh yeah, nobody actually reads the description. That's why. Stop increasing your defense. Well, it's better than attacking me and you're dead anyways. Yay! We win! We won! And this is level 22. That's great. And that... And nice, we learned PSI fucking bingo! Just like a stronger version of PSI rockin' alpha. And Jeff is level 12, Jeff is leveling up pretty quickly, and Vitality went up by 2. Ooh, the HP is gonna be crazy. Sweet. Maximum HP went up by 24, and Jeff went up to 13 now. Nice. If he went up to 14 now. SQ went up there too. HP went up by one. Oh well. 24 is still very great. And huh? Zombies. They ran off. And, okay, apparently the skip sandwich effect carries out after battle and didn't know that. Darfly honey inside. Now this takes it, well. Got our fly hunting. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. That was most favorite food in the whole world, Will. Who's Belch? However, it smells really, really nasty. We're talking major stinkage here. We're talking like something worse than the scratch and sniff cards at the back of the manual or near the end of the manual. Ooh, quite a bit of lag and. For good reason, enemies! You confronted a handsome Tom and a trick or trick key. Yeah, that's a key trick or trick kid. Now, you see handsome Tom, there's actually a very similar enemy to handsome Tom that I can't remember the name of. But, anyways, let's go ahead. Let's actually try out Rock and Beta. Okay, use PSI. I think the Trick or Trick Kid is weak to PSI Fire, but, anyways, let's attack Handsome Tom and attack the Trick or Trick Kid. Uh oh, he's reeling. That means absolutely nothing, man. I love how um, it causes, like, different graphical effects when you use different layers of version not layers versions of PSI rockin so anyways oh wait I just remembered something by the way at this part you're just gonna have to do a bit of waiting around just in order to get something to appear by the way the hint shop is actually ooh, everybody's going into the tent Oh, that's what you're supposed to do. How could I forget that? But first, let's talk to the weapons dealer. Death! Toy your gun is great. By the way, Rust Promoter, same as in Mother 1, actually, because it is, immobilizes some uh, metal type robotic enemies. Well, actually, let's get some money for the toy air gun first. By the way, Hint shop, if you ever need to know where it is, it's actually in the northeast. There's also a trash can there containing a teddy bear, so keep that in mind. Okay, I'm just gonna use the ATM machine. Because I really want that toy air gun, by the way. Let's say $300. I hope that does enough for the toy air gun. Sorry that it's starting to be a boring part this time. It's just that uh, I'm not think it, feeling that great because of everything's going on. It being a very long week, but oddly enough, I had a decently fun day here. Who's gonna look at it? Well, Jeff, of course. Yes, nice, nice. Uh, go ahead, take your stun gun and anything else. Let's go ahead and see what we can get. Might as well take a bottle rocket. Only Jeff can use bottle rockets, by the way. Only might as well throw that up. We have the big bottle rocket, but 
That's only one of them. Yeah, by the way, bottle rockets are very good. Does a steel amount, large amount of damage. Anything else? No, that would be it. Well, anyways, let's go into the circus tent again. Hmm, more people arrived. I have a total of two. People used to call me evil, but these zombies are much more scary. I left my wife and kid at home to escape through this tent. That's how scary the zombies are. You're a terrible person. Personally, I'm running scared. I don't mean I actually run around. I just mean I am frightened. Conditions in the town are getting worse. Yeah, well, I can imagine you don't want to run around and attract the attention of zombies. But that's it, then the town just took you those two people and, well, I guess I'll um, walk to the hotel so we can heal it. Really, enemies? No, 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 no. <sighs> okay, just use the same trick as last time, but Beta uses a lot of PP. So I'm gonna hold back on that. Luckily, it, this part actually requires you going to the hotel, and IQ went up by 1, and HP went up by 2, PP. Job is 15, man, gems you gain tons of level ups. Not very great, except for the time that your vitality went up by 2. Let's head to the hotel because. Hmm? Phone call. Hello, this is Appleton. We just wanted to let you know about us. Find us a portal to live to Brunson. I'm not sure if we're running hungry or not. Let's go on zombie paper. And if they use it as crap, zombies. Interesting fact. The zombie paper in the Mother 2 novel is actually not paper. It's the right kind of like flying paper, but not actually paper, apparently, to the official novel. All you need to do is place paper on the floor or a tent or something. You need at least one tent around, right? Or what kind of rules? Zombies get sucked in the paper and they move around inside the tent. You can catch a lot of zombies this way, in fact. I bet you can get rid of all the zombies that are terrorizing the area with this paper. Anyway, I just have to mock pizza and remember how to deliver this zombie paper to you, nurse. It's a get it pretty soon. I never actually see it as I mean, but if there really are any, wait. You're assuming, you're taking a assumption that zombies do not exist, yet you made a invention that traps zombies. That doesn't make any sense. Zombie payment should be very useful. Or come there as soon as something comes up with some, anything else. Beep, beep. Now we'll just have to walk around to the mock pizza delivery guy appears. And it comes pretty soon! By the way, this is the guy who delivers your pizza when you call my pizza anyways. I'll go do it. Three pizza, this weird guy asked me to help him out. He would like you to try. Deliver this to something named Ness. Someone named Ness who is wandering round three. No one knows about this, right? Let's just pretend you're Ness and I'll give this to you. Oh, oh, Ness. Go just go around with me. Oh, this is one, okay? I'm being the decision that you're Ness no matter what. And we got the zombie paper. That's right, Ness. Wink, wink. I've done my duty and given you the battle game single magic. Well, goodbye. Little does he know that I'm secretly the real Ness. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out that zombie paper. I'll give that to Jeff first. Even though even though that you're gonna get rid of it anyways, I'm giving it to Jeff anyways. That doesn't make much sense, but help. A book of invention, they decide on time, and the next day, a lot of zombies may be stuck to it. Just like fire paper. Except with zombies and not flies. Well, let's just go into the circus tent. And we can pretty much place it anyway, just so long as we're inside the tent. Let's go ahead and use the zombie paper, and we place it on the floor, so... Basically, what we have to do now is that we need to rest up on a hotel so that one day would pass by. 
Don't worry, no proxies will come and attack us. But anyways, Sunset Hotel. Would you like to say yes? And tons of money I need to go back and deposit because the toy air gun didn't cost that much. Sheesh, what kind of scent did you spray on that, Apple Kid? The smell of burning flesh or brains or something? S sir, you're working hard even though you're wrong. Uh, guess newspaper that was delivered to the hotel due day yeah, are different than normal. This paper called the Zombie Herald. I'm scared, but let me tell you what's in it. Boogie Tank falls, young human to blame. Apparently these zombies aren't happy that I destroyed their tent. Actually, let's go ahead and deposit all that money. I could do this off screen, but it's so quick that why bother? Okay, two, six. Okay, now just sixty dollars in our inventory. Now, if we actually go into the tent, you'll find that there's a bunch of zombies stuck to the floor, etc, etc, etc. However, I did hear there's a Photoshop there, so I'm gonna avoid that place, although I seems like you can only access that photo spot after you save three altogether and defeat Belch. Which, by the way, who's Belch? We only heard of him once. But, now that the zombies are there, that also means that the path in the graveyard is now clear and we can actually go there and actually escape trade and if you're the only exit that's around. So, I actually think we're gonna do that in the next part. So, next time on Let's Play Earthbound, something enthusiastic all of a sudden. We're gonna go ahead and down that path in three and well in the three graveyard and reach our next destination. And with you guys then.